Good evening, Giselle. Good evening, Anna Lu. Hi, Jairus. Hi, Rachel. Good evening, po. Hi, Brother Noel, Sister Josie. Good evening. Hi, Justin. Good evening, po. Hello, CJ. Hi, Jaya. Hi, Aileen and Daniel. Hmm. All right, and those people I made co-host kindly uh, admit the other uh, participants who will join in so that we can start. All right, good evening. Good evening, PQ. Long time no see. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, po. Okay, while waiting for the others para mas mabilis ang ating process, uh, let's start with our prayer request and praise report. And Let's start with prayer request and praise report. Hi, Tita Bing. Nice to see you again. Hello, Sister Faith. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. So we have the David Rose Acosta, the Cruz family. Hi, Derek. Good evening. How are you? Hope you're okay. We have the Cruz Venture family. And Giselle, Jairus, uh, the Mangubat family, Ascara, the family. We have CJ and the rest of the Raimundo, Justine, Aileen, Dana, Luis, CPQ. Uh, we have Tita Fe, Sister Faith. And good evening, Heather and Angeli. Hi. Good to see you guys. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Heather. <laughs> Good evening, Joshua Napogli. Long time no see. Hey, Edric, how are you? New haircut, new hairstyle. <laughs> Good afternoon, Pastor. Good. Hello, Joshua. How are you? Long time no see, Joshua. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's start with our um, praise support and uh, prayer request. All right. Or you may also write down your prayer request and uh, you can uh, uh, give your prayer request while we are doing the popcorn prayer. Okay, a popcorn prayer is that, you know, praying for anything that you want to pray for or the Holy Spirit is urging you to pray for anything uh, or for somebody, you know, so you can just uh, pray by yourself. Uh, 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 as long as... And nobody's praying, you can pray, all right, later on, okay? So we call that popcorn prayer, all right? So who else is here? Good evening, da friend. Madrid family, good evening. Good evening, Pastor Bong. Uh, good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Good evening, yeah. Paul. Good evening, Paul. While we are uh, uh, thinking of about our praise report and um, uh, prayer request, no. Uh, last night 
we talked about uh, talked about forgiveness, right? For tonight, we'll talk about anxiety. Okay, so if you have anything to say about anxiety, please uh, feel free to share or participate. No, so just uh, share your experiences or any uh, other further information about anxiety or exp uh, you, you witness it with other people. All right. Good evening, Sister Amy. Magandang gabi po. Ayan, we have a prayer request na dito. Ayan, so... Okay, heart surgery. Si Daddy. Okay. Eric, kumaling agad sa rest. All right, so yeah, we will pray for that later. Okay, if you have any prayer request, you can just write it down sa ating uh, group chat here sa Zoom or uh, you can tell it to me. I can uh, write it down in my notes so I can pray for it. And then later, uh, if ever I miss something or the Lord, this, uh, the Holy Spirit is prompting you to pray for anything, just pray for it sa ating popcorn uh, prayer portion. All right, so let's go, let's go. What else? Good evening, Sister Amy. Good evening, Anastasios. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, pa, Pastor. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Anaya. Long time no see Anaya, ha? <laughs> Ay, ano po pala, press report, Pastor? Apo. Thank okay, you po, okay, Lord, kasi... Binigyan niya kami ng soup kanina. Thank you po, Pastor. At saka, ano, thank you po. Iluto ko yun. <laughs> Binaka pa na ako ni CJ. Uh -huh. Na si may nabaka po. Kasi kailangan na kailangan po talaga kanina. Yeah. Thank you, thank you CJ. You saved our life. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Papa. Yes. Sinagip mo ang aming ano, pangkabuhay. <laughs> Yes, yes. Pangkabuhayan package. <laughs> All right. What else? Hi, uh, Jaja. How are you? All right. So, any prayer requests or praise support? Or I'm going to start with our devotion. But uh, anyway, if you... Uh, have something, you can write it down sa ating group chat. Or you can pray it for yourself sa, with, uh, within the portion of popcorn prayer. Popcorn as in prayer are popping out. You know, as the Holy Spirit is prompting you, just uh, pray for it no, later. As long as, as, long as nag, nag, silence, nag silence, then pray for it. All right? So let's start. Let's start, let's start. If you don't have prayer requests, uh, kindly uh, admit all the other participants, mga, uh, my ever dearest co-host, so that I can concentrate with our uh, devotion for tonight. All right, all right. And as pass the word. Hello, Pastor Bert. Good evening. We miss you. Long time no see. <laughs> so, okay. Sige. Let's start. Good evening po, Pastor. Magandang gabi po. Good evening po. Good evening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Alright, good evening. It's uh eight twelve PM Tuesday, January ten, our day two. So how are you doing guys? <laughs> Surviving. <laughs> um, I hope na you're enjoying our prayer and fasting uh, week, and uh, and uh, eating less is uh, kumbaga, somehow sometimes important for us to reconnect 
with God. So good evening, good evening. Welcome to your second night, uh, to your 2023 prayer and fasting Zoom gathering. So as we said, if it is only fasting without praying, it's dieting. <laughs> so we are doing simultaneously the prayer and fasting. So praise support and prayer requests. If you have praise support again or prayer requests, you can uh, uh, share it to the group or write it down uh, as a group chat or uh, just uh, if, if you have uh, any prayer requests that uh, suddenly popped up, no, uh, please uh, pray for it during our popcorn prayer time. All right. So let's start. Let's start with our devotion for tonight. Last night we talked about forgiveness. No, uh, sa ating pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Dios in English, uh, reflecting on the Word of God. So our title, no, our topic, topic title for tonight is anxiety. Anxiety is a thief. No. In Filipino, ang pag-alala or pagkabagabag ay magnanakaw. Okay. So, let me share this to you. It says here, sabi ng writer, no, I once read a humorous but instructive story about the toll anxiety can have on a person. Oh, yun yung sharing niya. For several years, a woman had been having trouble getting to sleep at night because uh, she feared burglars. Takot sa magnanakaw. One night, her husband heard a noise in the house. So he went downstairs to investigate. When he got there, he did find a burglar. Sabi niya, good evening, sir, said the man of the house. I am pleased to meet you. No, I am pleased to see you. Come upstairs and meet my wife. <laughs> it's so weird, eh, no? She has been waiting 10 years to meet you. No, <laughs> sabi ng asawang lalaki. Ang tagal ka nang inihintay ng asawa ko. The point is simple. A burglar can steal from you once, but anxiety can steal from you for decades. Right? Do you agree with that? We all deal with anxiety. At some point, a fact that Paul the Apostle was well acquainted with as he penned two of the most hopeful anxiety-curbing verses in the Bible. I'm sure you are familiar with this verse. Be anxious for, for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which sir, I'm sorry. And the peace of God, which uh, surpasses. All understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7. One of the worst things about anxiety is that it gives us spiritual amnesia. Daw. We forget who we are in Christ. amnesia. We forget that as His co-heirs, we have access to His power and glory. That when our priorities line up with his, he will meet all our needs. This doesn't mean we go from miracle to miracle in life. Rather, it means that whatever we are facing, we can rest assured that our Heavenly Father is aware of it and, st and will stick with us through it all, no matter what. He will even give us the grace and courage to face our challenges. You might be tempted to dismiss these verses in Philippians, thinking, Baka naman. well, that sort of uh, approach to anxiety is nice, but my problems are just more complex than that. 
Though these verses may be simple, they are not simplistic. They're grounded in God's unchanging character and nature, which means they are very needful for us today. So many of us live huge chunks of our lives trying not to worry about worrying any, uh, anyway. We tell God that we need, and then we bite our nails about whether he will provide. We believe he exists, but we're often not convinced he loves us enough to really help us. We hold on to only certain bits and pieces of the truth, leaving us stuck in a world of anxiety where it's tempting to believe that failure, anxiety, and worrying is all there is in life. We know we're sinners who fall short of God's glory, and we know that Jesus died to save us from our sin, but somewhere along the way, we failed to embrace what that means for our outlook on life. To be a Christian means to be adopted by God as his child, to have access to his otherworldly love, power, strength, and peace. That's why if you can come to embrace and trust in the promise of Philippians 4, 6-7, it will revolutionize your life. All right. Yeah, I want to hear no what do you uh, what can you say or what what do you want to share about anxiety do you experience anxiety uh how do you compare your experience with what the author just uh, shared to us no uh oh what is the gravity you know your effect of anxiety in your life no any sharer anybody Good evening, uh, Dangawen family. Pastor Ray, good evening. Yes. Anybody who wants to start sharing? Anybody? Share to us, you no? Know, is there is, is there a situation here in your life that uh, you felt so anxious? Yeah, question again. Sorry. Yes. Good evening. Go ahead. What uh, What was the uh, question again? Sorry. Uh, is there an experience, though? No? Is there something that you have experienced in your life that uh, uh, somehow related to anxiety that you worried so much, you no? Know? And uh, somehow it paralyzed you. You forget about the Lord and uh, the promises of His words, or anything, no? Something that yeah, I can you share. Can share. Yeah, go ahead, Eder. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for me, the biggest thing that I would say that I've dealt with anxiety um, was when I got sick. Mm -hmm. um, when I was diagnosed with cancer, you know, back in 2020, um, I didn't know what anxiety was. I uh, I always thought that life was, you know, uh, pretty straightforward. You worked hard, you did what you had to do, and you'd be good. Um, I wasn't as close to God as I am now. Um, but when I got sick, um, and I got, you know, each time that I got bad news, I would always pray things would get better. And then afterwards, I would go back to thinking it's going to come back again, or I'm not going to get through this, you know. But as time has been going on, I've noticed that Every battle that I've had, I've been winning, you know, because of God. So now I try my best to, you know, not question why I'm here and not um, reject his blessings because I feel like if I don't fully trust and, and, and commit, then I'm not really uh, thanking his blessings. So, you know, now I still, I, I, I still deal with it now, you know, um, I'm, it's in the back of my head sometimes, but I feel like I'm getting better where I'm just kind of like letting go and just letting him uh, take control. Amen. Amen. Actually, we're so blessed with you, Heather, seeing you, you know, 
uh, Sunday after Sunday. And uh, yes, that's true. Have, uh, uh, being sick is something that, uh, you know, it will get you, uh, it, 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 you, you'll be worrying really, you know. But um, one thing about, uh, one, one good thing about I like with the, with the story that uh, the author mentioned earlier is that uh, how he described anxiety. No, since his wife is so afraid of a burglar who's not been there for so many years, and finally the burglar came after ten years. The he, he told the burglar, "Hey, welcome to our home. My wife has been waiting for you for ten years. Imagine for ten years, you were a slave of anxiety." No, uh, things that uh, we are so afraid of things that is not yet happening, which might not really happen. <laughs> but uh, 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 it is different for Edward. His experience is kind of different because this is something more uh, uh, physical, visual. You no, know, you can you can see it. You can you can uh, you can feel it, and uh, you get to think of your. Your life, your young, your your wife, your kid, you you know, uh, the the future ahead of you, you no. Know? So this is something scary, really. It will really scare us, no. But uh, yeah, with 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 our faith, with uh, with the help of other people, you know, um, growing with them, growing in a community, it really helps, no. And uh, we're we're so we're so uh, blessed with your testimony, and whenever we see you running up and down the court. We're blessed because we're just praying for you. <laughs> uh, I was talking to, I, I remember, I, I can't remember who I'm talking to. Uh, I, I told the, that person, hey, remember, we just, we, we were just praying for Edder every Wednesday and now we're seeing him running down the court. And uh, this is not something that uh, simple, you know, his, what, what happened to him is not that simple, no? So surgery after surgery and, uh, uh, witnessing a miracle from God is something that uh, will really increase our faith. So thank you, Edder, for being a testimony to us. Yeah, whatever happened to you became a, 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 a faith strengthener for us. You know. So yeah, thank you, Edder. How about the others? Any experience about anxiety? You know, uh, anything that uh, you you uh, uh, what do you call this? You 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 want to share no uh, any personal experience or any other people's experience you want to share about anxiety maybe it's simple or maybe it's so complicated uh please share it to the group good evening papa irene good evening good evening good evening anybody one uh, wants to go next anxiety anxiety Madalas ka bang kabahan? Madalas ka bang mangamba? Hi, Pastor. Good evening po. Sana. Hi, good evening, Darren. Yeah. Uh, Darren has uh, a great story about this. Okay, Darren, go ahead. Share it to us. Po naman po, the worst anxiety na na ano na experience po nung nag, nabuntis po ako hmm. kay, ano, kay Nathan. Nang siguro ano nung nagkaano nang nagkaano ako ng hormonal imbalance which is hindi ko na makontrol ang aking mga ang aking mga emotions ang aking mga ang aking mind uh, sa mga ako ano lang po mapasok sa sa isipan ko and then doon din bumalik yung parang yung claustrophobia ko na ano na ayaw kong ayaw kong parang nakukulong ako parang ano po hindi ako nakakita ng labas Na, tapos po ano yung parang separation anxiety na to the point po na si Noel ayaw ko nang papasukin kasi parang natatakot ako yung nandoon yung fear po eh mm. Mm. kaya ano po nung, nung parang ini, yung yung time na yon parang feeling ko baliw na ako yung parang mm. ano, sabi ko ano nang nangyayari saan parang hindi ako parang hindi ako si Darren yung parang mm. ganun po Just parang iniisip ko rin na ano ba yung nagkukulang ba ako sa faith ko parang 
parang dumating yung point na nakapagtanong ako kay Lord na Lord, nagsiserve naman po ako sa'yo, bakit po ako na parang ganun po. Pero um, um, yung pinaglaban ko lang po ng yung pagiging ano ko po na yung thoughts ko, I turn my thoughts to God. Yun po yung lagi kong lagi kong uh, ginagawa. And isa, isa rin po yung nakakatulong sa akin yung um, yung mga uh, pag-reach out ng mga tao sa akin lalo na yung yung church family uh, through prayers and even sila yung pumupunta sa bahay. Ilang pasasalamat po kay Tita LB din na talagang tinulungan niya ako pumunta tayo sa bahay nagluto, mm-hmm. nagtinis. And lahat, hindi ko na po nga may isa-isa nga po eh kasi, kasi po parang parang na-overwhelmed ako sa yun nga, sa pinakita ng church family din sa akin na tinulungan ako hanggang sa makarecover po ako. Ayun po, even kay pastor na nakatumira pa ako sa inyo. Thank you po so much. Oh. Um, I-renta mo, Noel, magbayad ka na to. Good evening, lang. Good evening, Noel. <laughs> ano lang po, talagang talagang wala na pong makakaano sa sa makakaantulong po kundi si Lord ang talaga just turn your thoughts na ibaling mo lang po yung mga pag-iisip mo na we're in a makapagpasalamat ka sa Panginoon um yung ginagawa ko nga po nag-ano na ako nag lagi ako nakikinig ng worship worship uh, song sa YouTube tapos yung preaching yun lang po yung ginagawa ko po para ano pero Ang ano din po, ang tagal din po, tagal din siyang nawala yung ano yung anxiety sa akin. Pero I still praise and thank God na na hinil niya po ako. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang hirap i-battle once yung mind na po inattack na. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thank you Darren. The problem with the Pinoy culture, ito na naman no. With our Pinoy culture, um uh, this is what I experienced when I was in the Philippines. No, wala yan. Ema, arti-arti mo. Uh, lungkot-lungkot ka. Pag-pag mo lang yan, manood ka ng sine, mawawala yan. Diba? That's the problem with our Pinoy culture. No, But with the biblical culture, what I witnessed with the experience of Darin is that a community came together helping her. No, So, uh, it started with oh, everybody decided now Let's bring her to the hospital, take good care of her. You know, uh, there's a schedule who will take good care of her uh, on, on a weekend, on a Sunday. Now, even we uh, we even uh, put a uh, a bed, no, a, a, a folding bed to the office no, for her to be taken care of. And then, uh, sa makalipat ng bahay, no. And then uh, the ladies uh, go there and uh, uh, went there and visited her and uh, you know cooked for her. You know, so those are the, the the community came together. No, I, so I, I saw that I witnessed that, I witnessed that and that is a blessing to my heart. Nobody's telling them to do that. No, uh, it's just it just uh, it just happened because you know, the Holy Spirit is you know, prompting uh, every member of the community. So that was a blessing also. So from a problem of one person of one family of Darren and uh, Noel and the rest of the family, it became, uh, umbaga, it became uh, that the Lord used the entire church community to to be a blessing to one another. You no, know? and they they enjoying it actually. You no, know, when 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 they go to Darren's house, you no, know, it uh, they, they I remember yung uh, when we lip nagbipat bahay tayo, di ba? Sina Pastor Ray, they uh, pinupok-pok-pok pa nila yung mga nakakabit sila ng ilaw everything no so kompleto strikado yung ano yung <laughs> yung uh, service yung pagmamahal no so another thing is that uh, uh, sometimes we can, we don't understand what is happening to a person unless we experience it alam niyo yun so uh, uh and, and until now we we never experience it yet no let's not be too judgmental na oh article lang or wala yan or kasi nga because in our pinoy culture anxiety is not that much ano eh um 
uh, parang acknowledge no parang uh, you can you can ano you can you can bear the storm parang ganun no but it, it is something real it is psychological it is emotional it is something mental you know it's a spiritual struggle i remember when uh, i don't know Darren, if you still remember when tita fe dumo prayed for you in the office no there were only the three of us tita fe was praying for her no uh, i was ano, uh, i thought ako yung maboborn again eh, dahil sa prayer ni tita fe <laughs> kasi sobrang powerful parang ako na yung parang ako na yung mini ministeran samantalang nag witness lang naman ako sa kanila Diba? Parang uh, nag-agree lang ako sa prayer ni Tita Fe. So, sobrang powerful ng prayer niya. para ako na ata nawawala ng anxiety. Ha? Parang gano'n. No? So, ma- madaming klase. There's a lot, there's a many forms of anxiety. no When you, when you are, as a student, when you're taking an exam, that's anxiety. But you're feeling, that's a valid anxiety. No? Na parang di ka makatulog. As if there's, ano, when you're starting a new job, that's anxiety because you're not familiar with the environment yet that's anxiety right those are all they call it simple anxiety but it can affect a person's life so when you are i know uh, uh uh for example you had a breakup with your boyfriend or girlfriend that's anxiety you'll experience anxiety you know or uh, uh separation anxiety even si mini she experienced uh, separation anxiety she even canceled her trip to the Philippines, to Thailand, and to uh, Malaysia because of anxiety. Imagine how, uh, kumbaga, uh, how it cost her. No? Pero sin- I, 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 I understand her. I, 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 I told her that, hey, if you, if you cannot go, don't go. No? Because she, she, cannot, she cannot explain what she's feeling no? during that time. So anxiety is real. Anxiety can paralyze you. No? Ang ganda ng sinabi nung ano eh nang uh, nagsulat kanina eh, no? Uh, ang burglar daw can steal from you once, 'di ba? But anxiety can steal from you decades. 'Di ba? So pwede kanyang i-paralyze. And anxiety can be used by the enemy for you to be paralyzed. Right? So how about the others? Any uh, any more stories about anxiety? How you overcame anxiety? Uh, how the Lord overcame your anxiety? No. So uh, any more? Any more? Ano? Go ahead, Sister Emily. Ah, <laughs> uh, you next. Go ahead. Uh, good evening, po. Um. I did experience anxiety, and I believe this this was during the early part of our marriage Mm -hmm. uh, when Mark was um, in and out of prison. So during that time, um, my church community was my Mm in-laws, my in-laws and my sister-in-laws. I remember Mark would, when he would go to prison, I would be at peace because I knew where he was. But when he, when I would get a call from him saying, honey, I'm coming home. Oh, that's when I start panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking because I know where he will end up again. Mm-hmm. So I used to cry, panic, and then my father-in-law, Daddy Tony was my was my prayer partner. He would pray for me, and you know, and then and then I'd feel a relief. So I mean, to a point where it was a cycle. It was a years of cycle, to a point where I just gave everything to God, and because it's nothing I can control, the feeling is still there. The fear. But it's just a quick thought. And then even when we would go to court dates, his court dates, you know, the fear is always there. Dad Tony would always say, Anak, you're not alone. God's always with you. There's times where they can't be with me. I'd go by myself. And he's, he'll always remind me, 
remember you're not alone in God's with you. So this is just, I used to be ashamed telling this story, but it's just a testimony how God works um, in his time. His time. It's not instant. It wasn't an instant um, answer, but he, he's good. God is good. There would, there, would, there would be times when um, uh, after I paid all the bills, all the lawyers, all the bills, bill bonds, um, Vince and I would have maybe less than $50 left for us to spend for until I get paid again. So, you know, I, I look at my money and I say, and then I pray, and then, you know, it works out, Pastor. I give mm -hmm. my tithes. I pay everything, but it works out. Mm. So that's God's good. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, when somebody's assuring you of everything will be all right, you know, uh, it's a big help when you are experiencing anxiety. You know, and... Uh, uh, I just want to share to you you know, the kanina about the verse that Paul uh, uh, agreed there. No? Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, sa pamagitan ng panalangin natin at paghiling sa Panginoon, with thanksgiving at may pasasalamat, let your request be, no, be made known to God. No, hayaan natin ang ating panalangin, ang ating uh, hinihiling ay malaman ng Panginoon and the peace of God at ito na this is what this is what uh, uh, sister Anna Lou is sharing no and the peace of God ang kapayapaan ng Panginoon which surpasses all understanding na lumalagpas na sa kahit ano pang pwedeng nating pwedeng ma maintindihan no will guard your hearts babantayan ng ating mga puso and minds ang ating pag-iisip sa pamamagitan ng Panginoong Kristo through Jesus Christ, right? So, isn't it comforting to hear that? No. So, uh, you look at the the the, the wisdom packed in that uh, uh, simple uh, uh, writing of Paul. No. Somehow it brings us back. Na okay, I forgot I have a God. Diba? And uh, yung kasi yung, that's the confusion na gustong gawin, no, ng uh, ng enemy is that. You're alone. Just give up, no? Surrender and uh, be destroyed. So thank you, sister. That's a powerful testimony. What I like about our church is that we have a lot of faith stories. No? Uh, either faith or fake story. No, for our church. I I I I I I I witness a lot of faith stories, the stories that will lift up your faith. So, and that's that's how the Lord works in our lives, no? by uh, those testimonies. How about the others? Any more? Any uh, volunteers who want to share? How about the others? Anybody? Just unmute yourself and uh, and uh, share. Hi, hey, Pastor. Go ahead, po, Kuya. Uh, sa akin po siguro, um, New Year's back sa Philippines. Hmm. Anxiety plus stress was equal to hypertension on oh. my part. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi doon sa office po namin, we are three health personnel doon sa office po namin before. And everything that will, kept, will come out from your mouth, it would be talagang binabantayan lahat ng mga officials namin, mga officers namin. So kailangan you have to review all the things na ilalabas mo kasi that's nationwide. Uh, and nasa region kami ng office. So uh, nag-deteriorate talaga ng health ko that time. Yung, 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 yung high blood pressure ko tumaas, talagang tumaas. Hindi kahit na uh, the physician was giving me yung medyo mataas na gamot. 
Mm. Parang andun pa rin, hindi bumababa. And the Lord was so good. E, tinanggal ako sa Pilipinas. Mm. Dinala ako dito sa Amerika. <laughs> eh, nakita ko yung blood pressure ko. Bumababa. Yeah. You know, I go to work. But when I go home, wala na akong iniisip na trabaho. Which is compared kasi doon sa Philippines. Maganda yung position mo, maganda yung trabaho mo. Pero pag uwi mo, dala-dala mo pa rin ang trabaho mo. So, so yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Eh, hindi siguro hinayaan ni Lord na ako ay babagsak yung aking katawan sa Pilipinas kaya di nala ako dito sa Amerika. So, I, was, I am very thankful talaga na talaga may plano nga Lord sa buhay natin. Amen. So, at this time, pag kinukuha ko yung blood pressure ko, medyo normal-normal siya kaya di ako nagagamot. <laughs> Nagagalit yung asawa ko na kailang mag-take pa rin daw ako ng gabot ko pero okay na ba yung blood pressure ko? So, Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kuya Manuel. Good evening, Mami Melly. Ang sarap ng higa niyo dyan, ha? <laughs> Ayan. Uh, ako naman po, guys. Go ahead, Cesar. Yeah. I'll just... To share a little po. Dito sa States, here in the States, this is where I really experience yung anxiety. Mm-hmm. Kala ko nasa libro lang yung anxiety. I know. In the Philippines, I never experienced that. Siguro simple things of anxiety, konti lang stress. But in here, to the roof, I really mm-hmm. experienced that kind of anxiety that really feeling ko, I feel like my head is kind of like becoming big mm-hmm. because of, of uh, yeah, a uh, change of ex- uh, change of environment mm. uh the the kind of work that i was doing it's kind of new in on my part and then aside from that my husband is now with me it's a big factor that my husband was not with, with me mm. yung po yung anxiety talaga and uh, akala ko nga talagang nasa libro lang yun but when i experience what anxiety is and then i understand that it's real yeah it's it's not about Parang it's not about nawawalan ka ba ng faith? Hmm. Nawawalan ka na ba ng pananampalataya sa Panginoon? It's just, Lord, what what is it? Hmm. And uh, so what I did during that time is to just really, you know, to, 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 to dwell on God's promises. Because hmm. I really cannot do anything about God. Lord, I surrender everything unto you. I cannot do anything about this. Hmm. It's beyond my control. And uh, by His grace, I was able to overcome. And yun nga po, I just started my radiation mm-hmm. on yesterday and I have it today. And praying it will be done soon before this month ends. And uh, yeah, God is good amidst of whatever circumstances we are in. Anxious, anxiety or whatsoever difficulties we are in, God is God is there, God was there, and God will always be there for us. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's true. Uh, one manifestation of anxiety is a physical manifestation, high blood pressure, um, uh, pagtaas ng kung ano-ano. Di ba? But from my experience, one uh, one thing that, uh, uh, as I observe, lower, lowers my, you know, my uh, blood pressure and my anxiety level whenever I'm so stressed. You see, for a pastor, Saturday night is stressful. No, uh, Sunday morning stressful. No, uh, a lot of pastors you will never see them on a Saturday because they'll be preparing for Sunday. No, but for me, I'm 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 always around every Saturday. So it was uh, so I I always experience a little sleep every Saturday. But uh, whenever, no, for some reason, I don't know, whenever I play basketball, it releases something that I don't know. It gives me total rest, uh, mental rest. I don't know. I don't know why. Ayan, nag, 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 ano na yung mga ballers. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, I don't know with them. Probably they're experiencing it also. No? But whenever I play ball, I, it just give me you know, uh, parang so much mental rest. No, It's not physical rest because masakit ang katawan ko. I experience uh, body aches and pains. But uh, anyway, uh, ball is life, sabi ni Kuya Noel. <laughs> it gives me something na, oh, okay, this is a... Uh, para sa akin, it's heaven whenever I see it. Whenever I see the court sa, sa gym, no, 
yung uh, second floor court natin it, it gives me something na parang rest no uh, I, i cannot explain why you know i don't know but uh uh that's that's true uh, uh the more complicated you you uh, you're living you you are living your life the more stress you get and then the more chances of winning ng anxiety <laughs> diba? pero give it all to god live a simple life and uh you know be a blessing to a lot of people continue to witness god's miracle daily and then you'll experience less anxiety there will still be anxiety but uh, you know you see more or less of it and how about the others anything else so while you are thinking of what you're going to share let me share to you sabi, sabi dito one of the worst things about anxiety is that it gives a spiritual amnesia daw no kasi we forget who who we are in Christ we forget that no as his co-heirs we have access to his power and glory that when our priorities line up with his he will meet our needs this doesn't mean we go from miracle to miracle in life no rather it means facing whatever we are facing so we can rest assured that our heavenly father is aware of it and will stick with us through it all no matter what no ganda ng sinulat ng writer no naka experience ba kayo have you experienced spiritual amnesia now you forget the goodness of god you know we're learning about about the 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 israelites na sa book of exodus na lagi silang may spiritual amnesia after god gave them Uh, blessings after God saved them on a certain situation and then they get the spiritual amnesia. Ano nga ba yung ginawa ni Lord? No? What, the, what does the Lord did to, uh, to us no? as a nation? No? But for us, always be reminded of God's goodness. No? That's why uh, uh, life uh, this, uh, discipleship group, the group uh, that will start on January 20, is uh, uh it, it's a must no, for our church so that we will be reminded of God's goodness because for a sunday you don't have any opportunity to to share to talk no because there's only one it's a monologue no <laughs> so you know the preacher lang ng salita but one good thing about big group or bible study groups no in person is that you can share your experiences and you, know, you can bless others not through your experiences no all right what else anything else any uh go ahead justin go justin i'll just share um my experiences from from when i was little mm -hmm. so I think I was around uh, like six. Mm -hmm. um, when I was uh, growing up, I, I, uh, I guess I kind of believed in God, but mm -hmm. there were I would sometimes doubt of His existence. Mm -hmm. So, at one point when I was little, um, I was crying because, because uh. I used to fear death. Like I would think, what would happen? What would it feel like? Mm -hmm. Your um, your brain would cease to function. Your conscience, uh, would be wiped. And, and that I think that was my biggest fear. It even brought me to tears once. Mm -hmm. Um, but as I when I got older, um. I I don't think I became a real Christian until just a few years ago, like mm -hmm. three years ago. Because growing up, I I went to church, but uh, no one really gave me um evidence mm -hmm. for why I should believe. Mm -hmm. Um. So I just uh. I don't know how I stumbled upon it, but I started uh, learning about apologetics, mm -hmm. uh, learning about some of the evidence mm -hmm. of why Christianity is true. I I used to watch some debates 
um, Christians versus atheists. Mm -hmm. And eventually I got convinced. And then I, I prayed the sinner's prayer. I became born again. Mm -hmm. And then when I truly believed um, that there, there is heaven, that God promised us that we would inherit his kingdom in the future. Uh, I don't really um, doubt anymore. I don't get that anxi anxiety of uh, thinking about death because I, I believe now that it's just a transition into uh, eternal life with God. Amen. Enjoying his presence. Amen. As they say, Justin, death for believers like us, for Christians, is a graduation rights. No, it's a, yeah, you're correct. It's a transition. No, it's not the end of life, but actually a, the beginning of eternal life. No, it's not that uh, we are uh, morbid that uh, we want to experience death right away, but you know we just give it to. To the Lord, when He is going to decide uh, when He will take back our life, no. But actually, it is not the end for us. It is actually the beginning for all of us. No, that's why for Christians, uh, there are two valid emotions that uh, needs to also be validated. Number one, you're, uh, for example, when I, when when you when you lost a certain loved one, of course you have you you, you you're. You're sad, right? You, you are uh, devastated. No, you, 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 you wanted, you wanted to cry, you know, and um, and 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 everything. But uh, uh, it's because the truth is, you will not see that person again physically, right? But also another uh, uh, thinking is that uh, if you know that that person is a believer, no, you also be excited to see that person in the afterlife. No? So. Uh, and and for uh, and uh, for that there will be no end, so you'll be together for the rest of your life. So the, imagine, you no, know, in this group for our community, we are called spiritual family. So it is imagine if you don't like the person here, imagine you'll be with that person forever. So I want you to practice now. <laughs> You better like that person now. <laughs> so uh, that's how uh, Jesus wanted it to wanted it to be. So um, uh, yeah, yes, I agree with you. Uh, that is something that is scary, especially for a younger person. No? But also for for other people, they they don't want to experience yet. Sino ba naman who wants who wants to experience that? No, nobody. No, uh, uh, as much as possible, we want to live as, as much as we can but it, you see as we notice life is not about getting old because you see a lot of kids dying teenagers dying in their 20s dying 30s 40s 50s you no know? uh, because we sometimes we associate being old to dying you no know? actually death can come anytime any any age you know? And uh, we also we we already witnessed that, you know? but it's not about uh, uh, the the coming of death that makes it scary. You no, know? but what makes it scary and uh, makes us anxious is that are we prepared to meet our Creator? You know? If we have that uh, that assurance that the Lord will welcome you in heaven, then you'll be excited. Right, I I I, I remember uh, I was a speaker in a youth camp, and there was this young pastor, probably ten year older than uh, ten year younger than me. Mm. No, he was praying because uh, uh, there was this uh, the, the there was this pastor first, and then he'll be next, and then I'll be next. No, for our uh, preaching, I I heard him praying this a backstage. This is his prayer. No, this was his prayer. Sabi niya, Lord. I'm so consumed about you. I love you. I, you know, I'm. You're here to use me for. Uh, uh, to to for you will explode in front of these uh, no, teenagers. No, use me mightily, Lord God. 
Or if you if, if it is your will, Lord God, take me now, take me now, take me now to your glory. Oh my goodness, sa loob ko. Suicidal tong bata na to. Ako yung natakot, kinalibutan ako. Kasi yung prayer niya, take me now, take me now. Di ba? So I, 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 I never, it's because I'm not into his state. He's so spiritual that, you know, he's willing to be taken away by God like Elijah. Or like Elijah or, uh, or Enoch or whoever, no? Uh, imagine that kind of ano, uh, a spiritual state. No? So before I was uh, uh, afraid of uh, what he's uh, saying, but eventually I, I became envious. I go, wow, Lord, I hope someday I can experience that. No? The, the, the desire to be with you right away, no? anytime. So that is something. No? Yeah. Anybody else? Any more sharer? Or we're going to pray now? So if you have a pop, uh, we have a portion that is a popcorn prayer. No, please pray for anything. Oh, if the Holy Spirit is prompting you to pray for someone, pray for them. No, just unmute your uh, your your uh, device and then. Uh, just pray for it, no, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. So, are you ready to pray? It's uh, eight fifty nine, so I guess it's time for us to pray. All right. So, let's all bow our heads and close our eyes and be in the presence of God as we pray. Again, if you are being prompted by God to pray, please uh, pray along with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we lift up your name tonight, Lord God. You're so great. You are the best of the best. You're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We just want to praise you, Lord God. And just as a family, as a church, Lord, we just want to uh, uh, put out your banner so high, Lord God, that uh, we're so proud that you are our God. Lord, uh, aren't you the God who is the creator of heaven and earth, the most powerful God? Aren't you the God? who heals, Lord God, the sick. I don't you the, the, the God, Lord God, who's, uh, who's there for us to comfort us during the time of anxiety. Thank you for teaching us, Lord God, that whatever we're going through, may we not have a spiritual amnesia, Lord, but remembering all your good deeds and your love and your compassion and your grace for, our, for us, Lord God. Lord, we ask for forgiveness as we pray and fast for this week. Every night, Lord God, we come to a point that we just want to come to your throne, come clean, and ask for forgiveness. If there's anything in your hearts right now, you said, you did, or you thought of, that is not pleasing to God. We want to give you the opportunity to ask for forgiveness from the Lord. You don't have to utter it. You just have to say it uh, through your mind. Lord, just forgive us, Lord God, forgive us. Be specific, whatever it is. We're giving you the time to talk to God right now. Ask for forgiveness. Repent to God. Whatever you said, you did, or you thought of. Yes, do that. Talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk to Jesus. Ask for forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Ask for forgiveness. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ask for forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Lord, we are thankful for all the blessings that we receive from you, continue to, uh, continue to receive from you. Uh, we're about to receive from you. <laughs> Everything, Lord God, that you've been providing for us, your protection, the ability to make money, uh, uh, the, the spiritual growth that you're giving us, Lord God. We're so thankful, Lord. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Now, coming from your heart, just say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for my family, for my church, for my, for my job, for, my, for all your provisions, for making my, my family safe. Uh, thank you, Lord, no, uh, with all the circumstances. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that we've been receiving from you. 
Thank you, Jesus. And uh, with all the supplications, Lord God, for tonight, we want to ask you and thank you that before we utter our lips, you already answered our prayers, Lord God. We just want to ask for uh, things to that tonight, Lord God, some prayer requests that uh, may reach out to our throne, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, we are praying for Derek, Lord God. Uh, gumaling agad yung trauma niya sa wrist, Panginoon. And also, uh, maayos yung medical insurance niya to cover the emergency services, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you give peace in his heart. Use this situation, Lord God, to reveal more of yourself. Uh, we want to bless those people who did wrong to him, Lord God. And uh, uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, they face the consequences, Lord God. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, you will bring back everything that is lost, whatever it is, Lord God, uh, in full abundance, Lord God, uh, with all blessings, Lord God. May this experience, Lord God, be a reminder, Lord God, that you are in perfect control in their lives, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for uh, Lauren, Lord God, who's also experiencing anxiety, Lord God. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, you keep on touching her, exp uh, embracing her. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that you will comfort her, Lord God, wherever she is right now, Lord. That uh, you will be, you will be the uh, the Lord who will explain to her everything that that words that we cannot explain, Lord God. You communicate to her, Lord God. We pray that you you always protect her, Lord God, wherever she goes, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you'll give her a bright future ahead of her. We just claim it, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, also for at. Uh, Tatay Ismael Mayo, Panginoon, will be undergoing surgery soon, Lord God, for his heart, Lord. We pray that, that the surgery will be uh, 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 successful. You will provide wisdom to the surgeons, Lord God, and uh, you will provide for the family also. We pray, Lord, that uh, you'll, be, you'll, you'll be making use, uh, you'll, you will use this situation, Lord, to reveal more of yourself. To reveal more of your power to them, Lord God, as a family, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you wish to pray uh, for a popcorn prayer right now, you may do so. Hallelujah. We continue to pray, Lord God, for Daniel to give him a Sunday day off, uh, that uh, he will, uh, that he may enjoy his uh, weekends with you, Lord God, and with his family and with his church family in Jesus' name. Amen. You may now pray with our popcorn prayer, whatever prayer that uh, the Lord is leading you, you can pray for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, I just pray, oh Lord God, for our for trip traveling here to the Philippines on Tuesday, oh Lord God. I'm just anxious to that I could not withstand the long hours of having mass. Yes. Lord God, give me strength. Lord, that I could I could stand that long hours, oh Lord God. That we, I, we, I will be safe, oh Lord God, in the airplane, oh Lord. Give me strength, O oh Lord God. Give me strength, O oh Lord God. Mm -hmm. That we can go through, O oh Lord God. And Lord God, I pray also, Lord God, that you protect us, O oh Lord, and give us your traveling mercy. Cover us with your most precious blood, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Father, O oh God, for the opportunity that we can go home, O oh Lord God, and see our loved ones, O oh Lord. And I pray, O oh God, that we can also reach out to those who have uh, to, my, to my family that have not known you yet, oh God. Thank you, Father, oh God. And Lord, I also pray, oh Lord God, for Roxanne Wong, oh Lord God, the daughter of my cousin, oh Lord God, that uh, she's suffering from cancer, oh Lord God. And we just known that uh, her cancer has metastasized to her bones, oh Lord God. Oh Lord, be with her, oh God, and her family, oh Lord God, comfort her in her pain so oh lord god help her oh lord god let your miracle be upon her oh lord god but it is your will oh lord god that you may heal her oh lord god this i pray in jesus name amen 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 hallelujah lord we lift up to you cj 
uh, God, we pray, Lord God, for a better workplace, a better salary, Lord God, a better opportunity for him, Lord God. You know the heart of this kid. He loves you. He always serves you, Lord God. Bring it back to him, Lord God. Uh, pour it out to him, Lord God. All the blessings, Lord God, for his life, Lord God. Uh, thank you in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, maraming salamat po sa gawin ito. Um, Lord, I just want to, um, we would just also like to pray also sa lahat po ng mga naapektuhan po ng mass layoffs, especially po sa lahat ng mga employees na nakabase po sa San Francisco and um, all around the US po, Lord. Pray, pray, pray po namin na uh, hindi po sila maging anxious, Lord, and um, um, mag, um, uh, pumunta po, lumapit po sila sa inyo po, Lord, now, for more guidance, Lord, at uh, Alam niyo po na hindi, hindi po kami po bayan, Lord. I also pray, Lord, na magkaroon din po sila ng magandang opportunity din na katulad ko, Lord, na mapunta sila sa tamang company and um, mabigyan, mapakakapabright din po sila sa kanilang pamilya. Yes, sila sa Jesus na Amen. Amen. Lord God, we pray for John who just uh, experienced an, uh, a car accident, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you will... Uh, restore everything, Lord God, that uh, he will be paid, Lord God, and uh, we pray, Lord God, that he's okay. We know he also tra- he's also traumatized, Lord God. We just uh, we, uh, remember him in prayer tonight, Lord God. Uh, embrace him, comfort him, Lord God, and provide, Lord God, for uh, his car uh, repairs, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And yes, Lord God, we want to lift up to you those who have been affected by the typhoon. Lord, it's been so long, it's been raining. The past days and even weeks, we pray that you will just comfort especially those who had been uh, affected, Lord God. And you know, God, it's kind of cold and maybe some others are experiencing anxiety because of the storm, because of the rain, because of the weather. But Lord, we pray that you will just bring uh, fire, oh Lord God, in the hearts of each and every one. We especially, Lord, for, for your people, for the believers. God, we know that you are in control of everything. You know the numbers of our hair. You are concerned, Lord, whatever concerns us, Panginoon. You care for those uh, things that we care, Panginoon. And Lord, we know that you are there to provide, to protect. Lord, we thank you for how you have protected us a while back. Lord, when we were going home, Lord, thank you for your protection. And even for those people on the road because of maybe of fogs, uh, waters. Lord, we pray that you will bring safety, Lord God, to those people who are traveling. Father, we pray that you will just uh, bring everyone safe home and you just thank you, Lord God, for every family of Daf- Lafilness, the members of Lafilness family of our church. We pray that you will just keep everyone safe, that you will just continue, oh God, to provide for every need, that you will just uh, um, help us, oh God, to just fully trust in you in every uh, situation in every storm. Lord, calm that storm into our lives. Lord, we thank you, God, because you are true to your promises. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. And we thank you, Lord, for each and every brother and who really cares. Na, na, we really feel their love. We, we really feel their prayers and their concern upon us. Lord, we want to thank you for this people that you have brought into our lives and we speak your blessing to abound upon them lord god continue to prosper the works of their hands may you just continue to open doors opportunities and circumstances even divine connections oh god to we to work together for our good Panginoon, we thank you because you truly care because you are providing lord god a family this is spiritual family that we have you are showing, oh God, how you love us. And Panginoon, maraming salamat na ipinapakita mo, Lord God, na ito na, na ang pag-ibig ay nagaling sa iyo at ang pag-ibig, Panginoon, truly your love is present in our church. And may this love continue to abound. May it go and expand and large extend its borders and territories beyond measure. Thank you so much, Lord, for the leadership you want to to bless them, we want to honor them, and we want to pray for them, Lord. We know that the tasks that you have put in their shoulders are, are big, but Lord, we know that you are giving them the strength. You are giving them, Lord, 
the power to just really do these things for such a time as this. You are using them mightily to bless us, to bless the family of your people. Lord, we thank you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to be lift up to you, Romulo Dizon, na nasa hospice ngayon, Panginoon. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that you comfort his family. You comfort him, Lord God. We just want to pray for complete healing that he will be back in his home right away, Lord God. As if nothing happens, Lord God, we believe that in Jesus' name we, that you will provide the, the right care for them, Lord God, right care for Romulo Dizon, Lord God. We lift him up to you, Lord God, and uh, we, we are uh, we're speaking of blessings and prayer. Uh, uh, Blessings and healing for him, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God, we, we pray for your protection, God, to be upon um, each and every one of us, God. Our churchmates, Lord, um, we speak against God, being, uh, violence and robberies, God, that are um, been happening, God, for the past days, Lord, we, we, we ask that you would protect everyone who's commuting, everyone who's driving. Uh, as we leave and go back to our homes, Lord, we ask for your blood to cover us, God, for your send your angels to protect us, Lord. I pray for those people who have lost, God, um, yung cell phone or iPad or whatever, God, that you would return to them uh, whatever has been lost, Lord. And we just put an end to this, God. Na, uh, this would be the last one, Lord. We we ask, Lord, even that you would protect the children, God, as they go to the school, Lord. Um, protect yung, the teachers, Lord, everyone who's going to. I pray, Lord, that you would protect, from, protect us from accidents, Lord. And we just declare Psalms 91 over every family represented here and even over everyone in the church, Lord that no weapon formed against us will prosper, that you would put a hedge of protection over our homes. Lord, no calamity shall fall upon our household, God. And we just claim it, God. That, and we thank you, God, that you are with us wherever we go, Lord. And um, there's no room for fear, God, because you are with us every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we praise you for you are a God of righteousness. Lord, there's so much wickedness in this world, but you are still good, God. Lord, we praise you that because you promised us, Lord, that one day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you, Lord, are, uh, you, Jesus, our Lord. God, you are faithful in keeping your promises, faithful. Um, to us every day, God. Our inheritance in you, Lord, is great. And Lord, we pray that, I pray that you would help us uh, be faithful to you, God, as you are faithful to us. Uh, give us more opportunities to stretch our faith, mm -hmm. to grow more in you, Lord. Uh, Lord, may we never forget your promises, Lord. All the blessings you have given us, Lord, may we never take them for granted. We thank you for everything, Lord. Every day is a blessing, Lord. Your, your presence, Lord, alone is such a blessing. Thank you, God, for everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we lift up to you, Vivian, uh, Billia Flor, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you heal her, Lord God. She's now in the uh, Philippine Heart Center, Lord. We pray that uh, you heal her, Lord God, completely. Uh, give wisdom to her doctors, Lord God. We also pray for provision for their family, Lord God, with all the piling wheels, Lord God. We pray that uh, you touch people, Lord God, and uh, those people who can help them, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that uh, she'll be back on her feet and uh, she'll be okay again as if uh, nothing happens, Lord God. We, we pray that you strengthen her body right away, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Use this as a, as a testimony, Lord God, for... Uh, of your goodness to their family. In Jesus' name, amen.
Lord, we pray for the Maranan family who are now sick. Lord God, uh, si Hazel, si David, si Stephen, and si Tita Peppa, Lord God. We pray that uh, you completely heal them, Lord. We pray for healing, Lord God. Also for Pastor Bert, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, uh, healing, Lord God, sa mga may, may, may sakit, may lagnat, may ubo. Panginoon, uh, si, si Sir Jasmine, Lord God, and uh, Sister Mini, Lord God. Uh, si Pastor Claire, Lord God, and everybody else who is not feeling well, Lord, we pray that uh, you heal them uh, tonight, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord God, for another uh, day of uh, blessing, another day of testimony, another day of uh, 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 doing our spiritual discipline, Lord God. Thank you for training us spiritually. Thank you for the power of prayer and fasting, Lord God. Uh, thank you for this community, Lord God. Allow me, Lord God, to represent you as you bless them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. All right, guys. Picture, picture. Yeah, dalawang, dalawang picture taking to kasi hindi kasha sa screen ko eh. Sobrang dami natin. That's a good problem to have. Sobrang dami. <laughs> Kasi pag sobrang konti, problema yun. Eh. Mas magandang problema yun. Sobrang dami. Okay, first picture. First batch. One, two, three. Smile. There you go. Next batch. Next batch. Next batch. Okay. Okay, next batch. Game na ba kayo? Next batch. Okay, 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 okay. One, two, three, smile. There you go. Good night, Acosta family, Ruiz family, Mangubat, Francisco, Ascaraga, Pastor Bong, good night po. Promise, uh, family. Yeah. Darren and Noel, Anastasio. Good night, family. Good night, good night. Good night, Tangawen family. Good night. Good night. Good night, po. Benson Cruz. Good night. Good night, Jose. Good night, Raimundo. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow night.